Hey everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and today I want to show you a great new plugin for WordPress called Covert Social Buzz. And what Covert Social Buzz is, is a sharing button for your website, just like you've seen many times before. Uh, a share button, and underneath it, a link to each of the different uh, sharing websites that are popular. But you'll notice that right here, there's a number that is climbing up and that number is the total of all these sites added together and the idea behind covert social buzz is that when people see the numbers counting up in front of them it will draw their attention more and psychologically they will say oh look all these people have uh, liked this page I'll join in nobody wants to be the first person to like something so uh, when they see that there's a lot of people doing it they will join in now the other little secret about covert social buzz is that as popular as I am I do not have all of these numbers that are being shown here. This is a fake numbering system that can be uh, adjusted inside Covert Social Buzz to make you appear to be much more popular than you might actually be. So let's take a look at Covert Social Buzz and how it works because it's actually a very simple, easy to use uh, plugin. Okay, so here I am on my main WordPress dashboard and to install Covert Social Buzz you just have to go to the plugins just like you would for any other plugin, hit add new. And once you once you get to the install page, you're going to go to uploads, choose file. And wherever you saved Covert Social Buzz when you purchased it is where you can find it. As you can see here, Covert Social Buzz. Hit choose and hit install now. Next, just hit activate. And Covert Social Buzz is now installed on your blog. To activate it, all you have to do is go over to the Settings menu and hit Covert Social Buzz. And you'll see here there's not, uh, and you'll see here this is not a very complicated plugin to use. You've got a bunch of options here that you can choose from. The first being to uh, the text for your button, which starts off with Share, but you can change that to whatever you want. So let's say uh, Share with Friends. And you'll see when you do so that it updates over here so you can see what it looks like. And then you've got options to change some of the colors uh, of the preview button here. So we could start off with, uh, you can choose an icon. So if we wanted to use the thumbs up or if we wanted to use an arrow or a plus, whatever, uh, whatever you feel like using there. I personally like the thumbs up. People are used to that with Facebook. And then you've got the button text color, which you can change. So if your website is a... Uh, a blue themed site you could go with a very dark blue and the background color of the button you could uh, oh let's say make that a very light blue and the border color we can also go with a nice dark blue if you wanted and then you have the option to change the share button count box so you can change the colors on that so the uh, the text color you could change if you'd like. Uh, maybe we'll, once again, we'll just go with a really, really light blue just to show the difference. You can change the back, you can change the background color. Again, maybe we'll go with a, uh, a dark blue. And you can change the border color here again. Maybe we'll go with a, a black. Okay. And then below that you have your count numbers. And you can use real numbers, so if you have uh, a lot of likes and shares and things like that, you can use the real thing. You can use real numbers if the total is greater than the number that you put in this box. So for instance, if you have uh, 500 likes and shares, then it will use real numbers. If it's only 200, then it'll use the fake numbers. And the final option is to use fake numbers, and you can generate fake numbers between, uh, and you choose what you want here. I've got 1,000 and 2,000, so somewhere in between there is what it'll count up to. And then you've got your social buttons panel. And this is the pop-up panel. You can choose which uh, networks you'd like to show in there and you can see it updating real time as we add and subtract some of these. You can also, once again, change some of the colors. So if we wanted to do a very light blue here, we could also do that. And if we wanted to change the border, we could do that, maybe make it a dark blue. And we've got the option to show a share URL link box. And that's the link that you see down here that people can copy and paste. So you put that link inside here. It's automatically putting the page that we started with here, but I'm just going to put
animateyourlogo.com. And you can change the color of the link text. Uh, just for fun, we will turn that also into a very dark blue. Now below that you have your options for the placements and you can choose whether to have it justified to the left, center, or right. You've got the ability to show it at the top of posts, the bottom of posts, the top of post excerpts, the bottom of post expert excerpts, show for posts on the home page, show for posts on other pages, uh, button alignment inside pages, show on the top of pages, and show on the bottom of pages. And we'll leave that at the defaults for now, except that I will add it to the home page as well. And if you have a, a share image that you like to use, the open graph image, this would be when somebody shares it on Facebook, this would be the image that uh, pops up. You can choose that. We'll go in and we'll choose a file for that. Let's find a good one here. Yeah, we'll go with this one. It's a little big, but that's all right. We'll choose that anyway. And then we'll just update the settings. And now you can see here our updated settings with the preview of what it's going to look like on our page. If we like that, we can stick with it. If we don't like it, we can make some changes. Uh, for instance, I'm going to change this background here. I think it's too dark. We're going to go with an even lighter blue, almost to the point of a light gray. We'll update that again. There we go, and I think that works fairly well. We'll take a look at what it looks like on the website. So now if we go back to our page and we hit refresh, you'll see now that our buttons have changed to the blue colors that we chose, which match the theme. So that's how easy it is to use Covert Social Buzz. If you're looking for a sharing button for your website that has a little bit more functionality and uh, gets people to pay more attention and hopefully gets them to click more, then this is the social plugin for you. It uh, retails now for about $8, and if you click the link below this video, you'll be able to access it. And we've even got a special bonus. Let us know that you purchased it, and we will throw in an additional graphics package that you can use for your website for creating headers and for creating other interesting elements within your site. So there you have it. That's Covert Social Buzz. I highly recommend it, and uh, check it out.